I'm gonna be doing. My name is Antoine. I'm gonna be doing the brownie project. And so you need. What you need for the ingredients are Betty Crocker's Delight Supreme Walnut Brownie Mix. Um, two measuring cups. Uh, vegetable oil. One egg. A mixing bowl. Uh, stir thingy. And a spatula. And the baking pan <laughs> and of course you need the oven so um, what you do before you do you bake is you turn the oven on to 325 you put bake tray to 5 and you click start okay so that's starting up so what you need to do is get First, you need to get, you need to grease the bottom of your pan, of your baking pan. So you need to get canola or olive oil, the um, non-stick cooking spray. You just spray it in the kind of a circle. Okay. Then, uh, once you finish doing that, you put that to the side, and you get one fourth cup of water. Uh, one fourth right there, and you get uh, one third cup of ve vegetable oil. So pour that in. Right there. Right there. Right, so you're done with the vegetable oil. First, now I have to. Put the mixing bowl right here, and I have to open the the brownie packet. This might take a while. All right. Now, once you open that, you have to pour your brownie packet. It's right here into the into the mixing bowl. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need scissors. I'm gonna grab these scissors right here. I'm gonna cut it all the way across. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna give it a knife and do it. Be careful when you do this. I'm an expert at this, so you know the boy don't get stabbed. And once you cut that, then you put the knife out the way. Then you pour your mixing powder into the mixing bowl. Okay. Okay. Once you pour all of it, then you can just throw this away. Okay. Once you finish that, move that around a little bit, and then you have to pour the one fourth cup of water inside the mixing bowl. Okay. Then. You need to pour the one third cup of vegetable oil inside the mixing bowl. And then, once you finish with that, you put these on the side. And then you need the egg. You have to crack the egg. Up it in there. Okay, then once you finish that, you can just throw the egg away. And wash your hands. Once you finish washing your hands, you have to grab the mixing thingy, and you have to mix your your brownie mix. 
Brownie for my brownie. You gotta make sure you have um good arm strength, you know. Cause, um, you know, I got that, so like it's very easy for me to stir. Oh brother. I do about eight hundred push ups a day. <laughs> Yeah, right. I do sets of 100. <laughs> I hit him down like nothing. While he's dreaming. I'm just a new Travaris, you know. A neutral bars? Tavares. Oh. To add it to the Okay, I still see a little bit of a powder mix. Let's smash that. I don't know if you can see, but there's little little bubbles right there inside the brownie mix. I'll keep stirring. There are some, you know how you, when you dump the powder in there, there's just little lumps of powder, so you just gotta break them up. Okay, now I'm currently seeing walnuts inside the, inside the brownie mix, so that should be good right there. So we're gonna get all the brownie. Once you finish stirring this, uh, you grab the baking pan and you pour your brownie mix into the baking pan. You have to be extremely skilled at this. You know, you don't want it to go everywhere. And then your mom will come in here and then you yell at you. And then give you a spanking. As you can hear, the, um, the oven is, uh, is ready. It's saying I'm ready. So. Okay, once you finish scraping the, the brownie mix out the bowl, then you can go ahead and wait, I'm not quite finished. Okay, that's all. You want me to do that? Sure. <laughs> pause it okay once you finish um having your mom pour the <laughs> the brownie mix inside you gotta make sure that there is no brownie mix on the pan on the outside and on the counters okay. once you finish that Okay, once you finish that, <laughs> you grab these um, oven mittens, I think they're called, and you put it in your hand, the little talking thingies. So you open the oven, and you put the you put the the baking pan side at the top. In the middle. Put it in the middle. In the middle. And then you close your oven. And you 
let that sit there for. Um, what size is your pen? It's a eight by eight pen. You can see it right there. And you have to let it bake for 35 to 38 minutes. So you go to timer, and then you go to 35, zero, zero, and then you click enter. Timer. T timer, I mean. Okay, there you go. And you wait for 35 minutes.